Thank you for joining us today for Bible study. The title of the lesson, The Faith of David. It's based on 1 Chronicles 28 and verse 9. In this textual lesson, we'll be looking at this passage from 1 Chronicles 28. And so we would encourage you to pick up your Bible and turn to the page and, and we'll begin our study today. 1 Chronicles 28, 1 to 10. Here we see King David giving his son Solomon a Solomon a solemn charge about the building of the temple in verses 1 to 10. Note David's faith in verse 9. First Chronicles 28 and 9, he said, As for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father, and serve him with a loyal heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. We see a, a three-point message to this lesson today. First, our duty. Second, our motivation. And third, our promise. Our duty. David told Solomon, as for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father. What can we learn from this today? Knowing God is truly important. Jeremiah the prophet said in Jeremiah 9, 23 to 24, saying for the Lord, but let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me. Do we know and understand the Lord? When we say no, we're not simply saying to comprehend. We may not comprehend God, but to know him in the sense of keeping his word. Know that the Lord exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness. These are some of the qualities of the Lord. And to know these, we know God. And to follow the, the word of the Lord is to truly know, know the Lord. Do we know him? Again, as Solomon said, was told, as for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father. And so the Lord God was the God of David, as well as his son Solomon. David told Solomon, serve him with a loyal heart and with a willing mind. This reminds me of the passage in Mark 12, 30 to 31, where Jesus taught us to love the Lord with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Love him with all of your being. And of course, if you love him, you will keep his commandments. If you truly know him, then you will do the same. The Apostle Paul wrote in Colossians 3, 23 to 24, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord. A question for us today, are we committed to serving God faithfully and willingly? Second, our motivation. David told Solomon, for the Lord searches all hearts. As Solomon acknowledged in prayer in 1 Kings 8 and 29, saying of the Lord, for you alone know the hearts of all. Recognizing that God knows our hearts ought to motivate us to serve God wholeheartedly. David said to God, that God understands all the intent of the thoughts. And so God knows every motive behind the thoughts. He may, he knows us better than we know ourselves. And so this ought to motivate us. Third, we see our promise. David told Solomon, if you seek him, he will be found by you. We see in 2 Chronicles 15 and 2, how that it said, the Lord is with you. While you are with him, if you seek him, 
he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. And so here we see the message to Asa. Similar to what we see told by David to Solomon. In the New Testament, Jesus taught in Matthew 7, 7 to 8, seek and you will find. In James 4, 8 to 10, we learn the lesson of humbly drawing near to God. James said, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. That message, he urged the people to repent of their sins and to humble themselves before the Lord. David told Solomon, but if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. It's encouraging when we think that God is always there. How encouraging to live with the faith that God is on our side. Isaiah 41 and 10, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. David believed God, believed that God was with those who serve him. And we see this at the end of 1 Chronicles 28, in verse 20. And David said to his son Solomon, be strong and of good courage and do it. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you until you have finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. What is a, the application of this text for us today? Well, we see our duty to know God and to serve him. Second, our motivation, that God knows our heart and that God knows our intent. And number three, our promise, if we seek God, we will find him. If we forsake God, he will forsake us and we will be lost. But if we seek him, we will find him and we will be saved. This message today, originally given by David to son Solomon, but we do see a, a lesson from the from the text that we can learn from today. And we hope that today's lesson, this Bible study has been helpful to you. We encourage you to seek the Lord in all that you do and continue to study his word. Thank you for being here today for this lesson.